In the previous tutorial, we saw some of the basic Pydentic. In this particular tutorial, we are going to concentrate mostly on the data validation aspect of Pydentic. We have already seen that Pydentic provides us with small, small hooks that we can utilize to validate numeric data, text data, or many other types of data. For example, we have these hooks greater than, greater than equals, multiple of, and there are so many hooks available to us. However, these are often not sufficient. Let's take an example. Let's say we want to validate an, a particular keyword. Let's say the admin keyword should not be in the email. To validate such things, what we need to do, we need to import the validator and we need to create a decorator for it. So at the rate validator, which field it should validate? The email field. Now we need to create a function to validate. So validate email that I'm going to name it. It is a class method and it is going to have the value when the object is being instantiated. Every time we will be attempting to create an object of create user class, what will happen? This validate email method will execute first and the value of email will, will be passed here. We can use this value to check whether everything is right. In case something is not right, we can raise a value error. So if admin in value raise a value error with a meaningful message this email is not allowed if everything is good we simply return the value let's test it out let's try to create an instance of create user with the email that doesn't have the keyword admin the instance is created successfully However, if I change ping to admin, this time I should get some value error. Yes, this email is not allowed. This was definitely good. However, these validations are also sometimes not sufficient. For instance, let's say our password and create password, they should be having the same value. Their value should not have any mismatch. So this is a kind of dependency of one field on another field. We have seen that validator can only validate one single field, but not a dependency. So in this situation, what we can do, we can import the root validator. Root validator basically have access to every single field. So at the rate root validator, def validate password. It will take in class and the values values here will be basically a dictionary which will be having all the value email password confirm password everything so password is going to be values dot get password similarly confirm password values dot get confirm password If password is not equal to confirm password, we need to raise a value error. So raise value error. The two passwords should match. If everything is good, we simply return the values dictionary. Let's try to create an object of create user with mismatching password. We get the error, the two passwords should match. Let me fix these issues. This time we should not have any problem. It worked. Let's meet you in the next tutorial.